I'm about to give my testimony on why I love my dog, Cody, so much. Okay. Well, first of all, I want you to remember this. When I was little, um, one of my favorite all-time recording artists has a Jack Russell, and I always wanted a Jack Russell, okay? Just put that in, you know, just remember that. But anyway, after my accident in 2018, a lot of you know, um, I, I basically shattered my leg to put it nicely. Um, they had to rebuild it with metal and it took me about a solid year or so to learn how to walk again, which they thought I wasn't gonna be able to walk. So that, you know, I had to think about, I had to be alone for a whole year by myself, you know, in really a lot of pain and I had nobody there. So I asked God to send me a companion. Okay. And it, it, around the time when I started um, being able to walk, I ended up, you know, on my walker, I went into this beauty supply store because I was behind on, you know, some of my beauty supplies. And there was at least five people in front of me and the guy let everybody go. He slowly helped them. And then he came up to me and out of nowhere, he just says, you want a dog? I'm thinking, whoa, <laughs> I want my hair gel, but I mean, now that you mentioned it, what you talking about? So he said, I have this dog and... Um, I think he'll be good for you. I said, do you have a picture? He said, of course. So he showed me a dog and this dog that he showed me was ragged, dirty, hair all over the place, looked pitiful inside of a cage. So I looked at that dog and I almost wanted to say no, but then I looked in his eyes and it's almost like I can feel God telling me, this is your baby. Take him home and clean him up. You'll see. So, all right. I said, yes, but the test comes in after God gives you a vision. He gives you a test. The test was I only had $80 and the adoption fee was $80. I wouldn't have had any more money. That's the test. I had to trust God. So I gave that young man my last $80 for ado adoption fees, but no, it didn't even happen overnight. I had to really wait for a week. I wanted that dog so bad. If you think on social media, if you go back, well, it's about two years ago, so don't worry about that. But I made a post about, I really want this dog that I saw. Um, I'm praying for him. Can y'all pray for me? I had to wait a week. I was so nervous, but I had to realize I had to have faith. If God said that was my dog, I had to believe him. Now, remember, I really needed a companion. So that's how important it was to me. Okay, a week passed and the guy says yes, but that's when I realized I only have $80. But I trusted God and I gave him my $80. And I got my dog, Cody. We looked at each other's eyes and I could tell he had been abandoned. I don't know the story, but I can feel he was left alone a lot. He still has abandonment issues. And me, I guess I kind of have abandonment issues because I had been alone for a year. So we kind of like blessed each other. I took him home. I cleaned him up and I cut him. And guess what? I can't make it up. I didn't even know this. He's a Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> God has a sense of humor. That's the kind of dog I always wanted. I don't get over here and just try to like convince you to do something you don't want to do. That's your business. I just want to be honest. When God says he will pull you out if you trust him, he'll do it every time. You have to have faith, y'all. I want to see you win. I really do. And of course, now Cody is my best friend. It's nothing I wouldn't do without him. I love him. And that's why I take care of him. And when God bless you, you take care of it. You don't just take it and sling it to the side. I give Cody the best food, the best treats. And I massage him and rub him down when I'm brushing him and blow drying him after a shower, after I bathe him. I take care of him because that's his. he's my blessing. When God blesses you with something, you take care of it. I don't care what I look like right now. I've just been walking in the rain all day with no umbrella. I feel great. How you feeling? God bless you. And remember, spread love, not hate. Don't forget about you. Don't forget about me.